this is Ethel Moore, so I'm here with my Eric, my Hero Academia episode 10, Encounter with the Unknown. So last episode, um, the main thing we got, um, the main thing, All Might pulled himself out of commission. It overused his power, trying to save people on his way to school. So he has to rest for a minute. And so is Izawa and this um, hero named 13 getting ready to teach the um, class 1A about hero rescue missions and basically much going about that um, due to your previous um, sessions already with Izawa and All Might. Um, pretty much you know how dangerous your powers can be because as you're, you're heroes but you gotta know that most, especially some of them is, as we saw heroes like Bakugo, Midoriya, um, Todoroki, um, who else powers was, um, they should kind of show the Kamaibi, um, um, Dinky, I can't pronounce his actual name, and, um, others, their powers can, they, they are, they are good with heroes, but if they don't have the proper control, they can be highly dangerous, especially Bako, Boom Boom Man, um, and so they get ready to do some hit rescue missions, and bam, villains pop up, so, this is episode about to get to why they come up here. So, because we already, already uh, pretty much already was introduced to one in the previous episode. Because the press they got in. And we saw blue hair like L. Like, so, yeah. So, we're going to get into this again. Um, follow me on social media. Comment, subscribe. And um, let's just jump into Because I need to see why they're attacking these students. Because they're just students. This is real. Those are villains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not ready for this. The only real heroes I see are 13 and Eraserhead. What are you gonna do? You can't fight them on your own. There's too many of them. Even if you can nullify their quirks, your fighting style's not suited for this. Your power works best in stealth and one -on -one That's not gonna help with a group. You can't be a pro if you only have one trick. Oh, okay, so I was you can't be a pro if I'm I'll leave it to you, 13. Shooting squad, take your aim. Didn't our intel okay, say it was just gonna be 13 and all night out here? Who's that? Don't recognize him. But if he thinks he can take it down easy, he's dead. Let's shut him down! I'm a loser. Uh, my my Where are my bullets? Where are my bullets? Bet you can't erase the quirk of a heteromorphic type like me, can you? Yeah, you're right. But a villain like you is only dangerous if you can reach me. Good thing. I've taken measures to make sure that never happens. Okay, there he is. I'll watch his next. Okay. Mary, he's holding them off. I guess I shouldn't have underestimated. Uh, Midori, can you run, please? There's no time to be analyzing. We have to go. Can you run, Midori? You'll be like, oh my god. This is how you better get him, your fanboy. Go. <laughs> What are you two doing? Here we can Did you think we were just gonna stand around and let you tear this place to shreds? Oh my god! Okay, you two, you don't even know what his. Oh my you god. You live up to your school's reputation. Yeah, did not think this through. Careful, children. Otherwise, someone might get hurt. You two, get out of the way right now! I'll scatter you across this facility to meet my comrades and your dad. Oh no! What is this? You did not think this through? So let's talk quirks. I'll go first if you want. Obviously I can jump high. And cling to pretty much any wall. And of course there's my tongue. I can stick it out about 20 meters. Okay, hold oh up. yeah, and I can spit out my stomach so I can clean it. That's not really useful. Finally, I also okay, secreted- Okay, Frog Girl just said she could spit out her stomach so she can clean it. Is that something frogs can do? I can spit out my stomach so I can clean it. I'm gonna have to look that up, and if I find it, I'm gonna put it in the video somewhere around this point. Sticky balls. Their strength varies. Depending on how I'm feeling, they might stick to something a whole day. They grow back as fast as I can pull them off, but I'll bleed if I use too many. Oh, and they don't stick to me. I just bounce right off them. Is this 
Quark anyway useful? So he could take the balls off his head, they stick to anything depending on their his mood, and he bounces right off them. But if it takes too much, he bleeds. I mean, that would be useful if you like have to throw a person out of a building and they have to land on something soft. That's useful for that. Mm. Um, what else would? I mean, he could, I guess, incapacitate somebody with enough of them, but he can't take too much off. So, um, I don't see how Quark will be any way useful in this situation. They're screwed. Poor Midoriya. Damn. He got his Midoriya. Balls, they stick together. Not too Smart. You guys are amazing. Both of you. We got some science in here, okay? I guess we passed the Victoria. My baby. Pause though. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so villains attack. Midoriya is trying to figure out, has clearly figured out that villains attack. They want All Might. And clearly plan on killing All Might, so they probably know a way to kill him. Um, according to Midoriya, they separated all the students, but they have no idea what their quirks were. If they, if they knew what their quirks were, they would have put them in the proper zones. So, Midoriya comes up with a plan. Breaks two of his fingers, these two, only well, these, yeah, these two, um, and they escape the shipwreck zone. So, um, clearly this episode, I think, 10, so 11, 12, 13, those last three episodes, we're probably going to get, um, see more of the other, everybody else in their particular zone. Hopefully, um, Transformer gets out so he can ring the alarm. We got to see what Aizawa's doing and everybody else. So, comment, subscribe, see you guys for the next episode.